Hello there. Welcome to MicroStrategy Embedding SDK Playground tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the standard authentication with MicroStrategy Embedding SDK. So let's get started. Uh, we have an example in the examples. So go to the start over and pick the standard authentication example at the bottom of the list. Uh, if you click continue, the code will be automatically populated into the editor. So um, before we enter the password, let's let's look at the code first. So in the code, we have a uh, line number five to seven. We have a library SDK, uh, embedding SDK Im embedded. So um, line number 12, that's the uh, container for dossier. Um, line number 14, we are using the demo.macready.com and the library is macready library dev. So this is different from other examples. So in this example, we have an account created, uh, use the standard authentication, but uh, uh, a guest account. So let's see. So um, the URL for the dossier, um, let's see what's going on. So when we run this code, in the configuration, we have a specify. We are using OS token uh, as the customer authentication type, and we enable the customer authentication. And uh, we have a get login token function, which is logging. So whenever uh, a dossier embedded SDK, when we run this dossier, it need a token. It will call this function logging. So let's see what's the implementation. In the logging function, we'll do two things, right? We first check whether we have a session already. So this will check if we have a session already. If you already have a session, we just uh, uh, use it. So if you have an auth token, uh, we just use it and we will without creating a new token. If it's not, we will try to create a new token. So let's see. So two functions, get auth token, get auth token call, it will call REST API. It will call the REST API uh, with endpoint auth slash token. And when we got a response, OK, we get an auth token from header and we return. Uh, this is an async call and return a promise. And another call function is create auth token. This is also used by the logging after we login call. Um, if we don't have an auth token already. So in this call, it will call REST API auth slash login and passing the um, authentication mode to be standard with one is standard and also it shows some UI prompt. So in your real app, actual application, you probably don't want to this. You probably don't want to uh, have some your interface ask user to enter login password after you uh, after user enter the login password in your web interface and then you start calling the uh, create auth token so so this is just for the demonstration purpose and make it easy so we just call prop and what this does is do a login call and if we get an auth token it will return it otherwise we'll just lock some error all right so let's see whether uh, how how does the work so click run button. Uh, it will show the prompt, right? This is from the uh, create a session call. So we don't have a, a, any uh, auth token yet. So we're going to type guest, okay. And no password. Okay, you will show, you see the dossier is rendering, right? So in the console log, you can see we put some uh, log here it says new standard logging session has been created successfully. Um, let's run it again. So if I run this second time, I supposed I should have all token already, right? So I shouldn't need to create a new session. So let's see. So if I run this again, it doesn't prompt me to enter login password. So let's, that means it's reusing the session. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the uh, this is. So this also, if you want to use this with the some other authentication mode requires user to enter logging. And uh, you can also slightly modify this code, right? Login mode to be, uh, if you use LDAP, change it all loss mode to be LDAP one. 
if you're using, actually they are, this is also working with the guest authentication. So if your library server has multiple authentication mode enabled, uh, you need to specify, right, which one you're going to use. So you can specify guest authentication without logging password. So this code is also will also work uh, if you change this to guest authentication. Uh, all right. We can actually try this actually. Let me, yeah. Let me try this uh, just for demonstration purpose. Okay, let me try this uh, without, uh, we actually have a guest on key mode enabled for this demo. So let's try this. I'm gonna change this. I'm going to run this. It shouldn't uh, show the login password. Yeah, so let me, um, so, okay. So let me log this out. Uh, just do one more test. Okay, so let me, Go ahead, log the session out. I'm going to log the session out. Okay. Right now, log session out. I'm going to try this again. So, right, it will create a, oh, yeah, I didn't update the uh, uh, console log. So, it, it actually create a guest authentication. So, if I go uh, here, if I refresh the uh, library page, let's see what session is created. So, you can go here, search the user, see it's using the uh, guest, it's using the anonymous uh, authentication. So that's, yeah, so that's the standard authentication. And we have a more examples in the examples list. Go to the start over, pick example, feel free to explore other examples. And there's also code blocks for the authentication on the left side. You can also try the code block all right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.